Hi all, good afternoon. So we'll start today's video with a good news. I have recently moved to Munich a couple of days back. So basically uh, I received my visa two weeks back and uh, as soon as I received my student visa, I immediately booked my ticket and I plan my travel accordingly. So to start with, currently I am in a hotel in Munich. Uh, the hotel name is Ambience Rivoli. It is near Hera Station in Munich. So it is it is almost in Munich uh, center basically. And uh, it is a great experience. It is really nice, uh, you know, after waiting for so long, I am able to move here. So it's, it's a ni really nice experience. So moving abroad is always difficult and it is more difficult when you are traveling for the first time. Fortunately, I have stayed abroad outside India in Singapore while I was working with Standard Chartered Bank and uh, you know I have certain experience of traveling uh, so so you know I thought that you know one of the most important part of traveling is backpacking you know what what you are going to carry and what not so today's video is all about what you are going to carry while you are traveling abroad as a student and uh, we will I, I took a video while i was you know packing my bag i'm going to share those i'm going to share that video in today's vlog hope you enjoy it so to add further more you know i believe in carrying less thing you know the the less you carry the easy to travel actually so i i booked ticket in air india and uh, there is a offer for student in, in while you are traveling with air india that you can carry up to three luggages so each luggage can contain up to 22 kg but uh, when when you will be traveling i'll I'm, i'll suggest you to you know check with airlines because these rules gets changed and uh, so so I'll, I'll suggest you to check with airlines with whichever airlines you are traveling but for indian students i believe air india is good so what I did is I was allowed to carry approximately 66 kg in luggage 22 uh, per kg for each of the luggages but eventually I have carried only 35 kg of luggage you know I the, the luggage I carry it was like I had a one big 60 liter decathlon backpack and one of the trolley this is it this is the only two luggage main luggage I carry and one of the backpack I carry for my documents and laptop so I'm going to share the video uh, with all the details and all the you know uh, things that I have carried. Uh, maybe you can watch it and uh, then I can add a couple of more comments as well. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, good afternoon. So as I was saying that uh, I'm packing my bags. I have received my visa a couple of weeks back and uh, tomorrow I will be traveling so so let's discuss about the packaging I try to take as less as possible I, I like to carry you know less thing while traveling so these are the things I have let me let me just give you a brief idea what I have so basically this is a 60 liter you know uh, decathlon backpack as you can see this is a 10 liter decathlon bag uh, this is minus 20 degree jacket this is a towel uh, couple of t-shirt running tracks okay full full pant uh, to wear at home this is a warm one there is one more full trouser full pant you can say uh, one shoe one sport shoe one uh, casual one there is some cooking utensil my laptop uh, some namkin, my DSLR, some dal, uh, Kindle, headphone, watches, sunglass. I am a coffee lover so I am carrying all the requirement uh, for coffee. Some dry fruit as well. International travel adapter, medicine box, dry fruit, uh, belt, some storage then one more track uh, couple of story books these are the coffee and a uh, couple of water bottles coffee cup my headphone as you can see and then moving ahead 
these two are like you know formal pant there is a six pocket pant uh, one of the beautiful jacket gifted by saxo groove thanks a lot to them <laughs> i have a couple of uh, formal shirt as well trimmer storybook couple of jeans and uh, yeah and and she is my beautiful wife and me and a uh, couple of more shoe and uh, gimbal so basically these are the thing that i am planning to take as you can see uh, i am trying to carry as less as possible that makes my journey more easy i think uh, because i, I know and as per my previous experience right once you go outside india you could see that all most of the indian products are available so there is no need to worry uh, all, although you know it's up to uh, person to person it's very people what what they want to carry but for me it's always basic that i would like to carry so guys yeah uh, continuing to the blog uh, we'll we'll talk to you again and we'll see you again yeah, bye Hi guys, hope you enjoy my backpacking video. Uh, there are a couple of tips also regarding backpacking that I would like to add. First point is uh, you should check the weather condition of the city that you are traveling. For example, Munich is a uh, cold place, so I carried all my winter clothes. Apart from that, uh, second tip is you should also carry your medicine. For example, if you are traveling from India. it is difficult to get uh, indian medicines here in munich so it is safe to carry your own medicine uh, because you never know right uh, as a student uh, you might get less chance to travel back to india or you might get less chance to travel frequently to india so carry enough medicine at least for 6 month to 1 year so that it is it is you know safe for you and uh, also you should check with uh, airlines what are the medicine you can carry but it is suggested that you can carry your own basic medicine uh, there are a couple of other tips as well for example i haven't carry you know things like rice or dal or indian masala because those things are available here uh, if you spend around 40 to 50 euro you will get enough you know uh, cooking material like rice dal cooking oil masala and everything which will be sufficient enough for you at least for one to two months based on your eating habit so i would suggest that uh, carry less things which are obvious things and available here instead of that save some you know space and carry which are mandatory for you which might not be available here and uh, i think uh, there is there is also one more point that i was allowed to carry 65 kg but uh, 66 kg but i carried only 35 to 36 kg it really make my journey more easy because i travel from uh, kolkata to delhi and then delhi to frankfurt but from frankfurt to munich i travel via train which is a beautiful experience i'll i'll i'll, I'll create a you know separate blog on that travel day so had i have a you know had i have some three luggage it would have been difficult when i was you know taking the luggage from frankfurt airport to frankfurt station but i have as i have less luggage it was comparatively easy for me because uh, once i got the luggage from frankfurt airport then from there i carry it to frankfurt station and then i came to munich and from munich station to i carry the luggage to munich taxi stand and then from there you know i i took it to like from and and from there i took it to hotel so there are a couple of pit stop when you have to carry your luggage yourself and uh, the less luggage you have the more easy it is i have one of my friend here in munich who really helped me out while uh, you know once i reach the after i reach the munich station but uh, still it is suggested that you carry less luggage you know which will make your journey more smooth so i think uh, this is it guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, i'll be i'll be creating a next video on travel day also i i still i i know that i need to create a video regarding the uh, documents required for visa application i will be creating a episode for that as well and uh, till then please do like and subscribe to my channel and keep sharing the channel as well and uh, till then uh, see you guys and uh, tata bye, -bye.